welcome back to Vegan Afternoon with Two Spoons. Today I'm sharing my three must-have sweet potato recipes and each provide a really different thing. So I'm gonna be showing you how to make a really delicious side dish, a healthy and hearty salad, and then a standalone main all using sweet potato. These recipes are vegan, gluten-free, and made with simple, wholesome ingredients so you can feel really good that you're eating really healthy dishes. My first recipe is for my black bean stuffed sweet potatoes. This recipe is so popular on my blog. It has over 2 million views on Pinterest and over 57,000 saves. Y'all seem to love this recipe and I completely understand why. It's super fresh. We've got lots of fresh ingredients in here. We're gonna be roasting this up in the oven to make a baked sweet potato and then we're stuffing it with this really delicious black bean medley filling, topping it with an easy avocado topping and then drizzling it with a simple vegan sour cream. This recipe is healthy, hearty, vegan, and gluten-free. It's made with really fresh, wholesome ingredients, but it's definitely filling enough to be a standalone main. Okay, so let's get started. We're gonna start by poking some holes into our sweet potato, and this is really gonna give the sweet potato some breathing room as it cooks from the inside. Some of those juices are gonna ooze out, and it really allows that to happen without the sweet potato kind of like exploding. You don't need a lot here, just a few. And then next we're gonna paint it with a little bit of olive oil. Painting with oil helps to crisp up the outside really nicely. You can skip this step if you are oil free, but I personally like it. Um, it just makes the skins a lot tastier. We're gonna bake these for about 40 minutes to one hour. The amount of time really depends on the size of sweet potato you're using. These are kind of on the skinnier side, so I'm thinking around 40 minutes, but make sure that you know, you're checking it with a fork. It should have a smooth glide in and a smooth glide out, and then you know it's baked. And then next we're gonna dice up some of this onion. So I'm just gonna finely chop these as well. And finally, the cilantro. Black beans. I love the smell of lime. Okay, so now let's assemble everything we need for our black bean medley. We're gonna start with the black beans, tomato, corn, cilantro, red onion, garlic, corn and lime juice, and some olive oil, sea salt, pepper, and chili flakes. Okay, let's mix this to combine. This smells so fresh. I could honestly just eat it like this as a salad. Mm. Mm -hmm. Next, we're gonna start our simple guacamole. We're gonna be adding our avocado to a bowl, and then we're gonna pour in our lime and sprinkle with some salt. And we're just gonna match this together. And that is our simple guacamole. I haven't added any cilantro here. I just find it's not really necessary because we have it in the black bean medley and then we're gonna top the sweet potatoes with it. So this keeps it really fast. Now let's do the simple sour cream. We're gonna add the coconut yogurt, lime juice, some salt, and we're just gonna mix this together. Okay, these are nice and fork tender, so let's stuff these bad boys. I'm gonna cut these two open. Oh baby, this looks so good. Now we'll add the black bean medley. I'm literally drooling. This looks so good. And then we are gonna add a big dollop of that easy guac. And then finally, a little bit of that sour cream to drizzle. Fresh cilantro, some pepper, and chili flakes. Let's eat. Mm. Oh my God. I just love this dish. I literally don't even know what to say except it's so good. I love the sweet potato. I love the creaminess. I love the crunch of the corn. I love the cilantro. I love everything about it. I love you. This is all going in my belly. Mm. The next recipe that we're making is my kale sweet potato salad. It's a delicious, wholesome salad that's really healthy, but also really filling, which is why I love it. We are looking at ingredients like kale, quinoa, sweet potato, and chickpeas. There's lots of things that are gonna keep us full throughout the day. The sweet potatoes are infused with a lot of really delicious Moroccan-inspired spices, and then it's roasted in the oven to perfection. Then at the end, we toss in my signature Moroccan dressing. I love this dressing. You guys have seen it before in my Moroccan-inspired salad, and we're using it again today. We're gonna start by cooking the quinoa, so I'm just gonna head over to my stove top and get that going. So let's add the quinoa, add the water, and let's get this boiling. We're gonna start by chopping the sweet potatoes into bite-sized pieces. So we're looking for like sizes like this. Obviously nothing needs to be exact here. Okay, so these sweet potatoes are done, so we're gonna get this onto our baking tray and we're gonna spice it all up. 
we're going to sprinkle with salt, add the cinnamon, cumin, and coriander, and we're gonna mix this to combine. Okay, this is looking nicely coated now, so I'm gonna pop these in the oven. Okay, so this is looking nice and cooked and fluffy, so I'm actually gonna transfer it to a wide bowl so that it'll cool faster. And then finally, my signature Moroccan dressing. I'm quickly gonna juice up my lemon and orange. So we're gonna add the olive oil, the lemon juice, the orange juice, maple syrup, cinnamon, ginger, cumin, coriander, sea salt, chili flakes. Mix this to combine, and there's our dressing. Oh my God, these sweet potatoes are perfectly roasted and they look so good, smell amazing. So we've got everything we need here, so let's get this all together. First, I'm gonna start with the kale. And the quinoa, the sweet potato, chickpeas, and goji berries. And now we're gonna add the Moroccan dressing. Yeah. And let's toss this to combine. I cannot tell you how excited I am to taste this salad. Mm. Oh my God, this is amazing. It feels really comforting and wholesome, but healthy because it's a salad. And the sweet potatoes are definitely taking center stage here. They're so deliciously spiced and there's so many of them. It feels really plentiful. I can literally eat this whole bowl. Mm. So the last recipe is my best baked sweet potato wedges. I love this recipe because it comes out crispy and not soggy. Too often when people are baking sweet potatoes, they're coming out soggy and we don't want that when we're thinking of fries or wedges. The sweet potatoes are baked instead of deep fried, so they're a much healthier version, yet they're just as satisfying. These sweet potato wedges are really nicely seasoned. We're throwing in some thyme there and then I've got a really nice spice medley that's gonna go in it. And then to finish, we're gonna make my signature vegan ranch dip, which is just perfect for dipping. It's such a nice companion. So let's get started on making this recipe. We're gonna start by chopping this sweet potato in half. I'm just gonna remove these little ends. So I'm gonna cut this in half lengthwise and then I'm going to cut it in half again and then chop into little wedges. So I've got three tips for you in terms of making your sweet potatoes crispy because we're baking them in the oven. The first is to slice into thin strips, an inch thick at its fattest part. That's gonna really help. The second tip is not to overcrowd the baking sheet. So we wanna make sure that we're giving ample room on our baking sheet for the air to get in between and for things to get nice and crisp. And then the last thing that we're gonna do is we're gonna be baking this in the oven at very high heat. Typically people tell you to roast your sweet potatoes at 400, we are amping up the heat to 450. So some people will either boil sweet potatoes or submerge them in water before baking because it does help with crispiness. I find with this recipe, it's really not necessary if you're doing the three tips that I gave. So it'll save you time and you can just avoid that stuff. Another thing that people do to make potatoes or sweet potatoes crispy is they'll add in a little bit of cornstarch. I actually tried that in my recipe development of this recipe and I just didn't like the taste that I gave and I didn't think that it made it any crispy so I say forgo it. So I'll add the wedges to a bowl and then our olive oil, the thyme, garlic powder, onion powder, pepper, and chili flakes. And we're gonna toss this to combine. This seasoning smells so good and I love how it's a mix of fresh and dried. We're gonna get these wedges on a baking tray. So I actually don't have enough space on one baking tray. I really wanna make sure that there's ample space between these sweet potatoes. So I'm gonna put it on two trays. See how much space there is between? Now, this is what I wanna see. It's like a little bit like trial and error. You just wanna kinda see where things fit in place. It's like a little puzzle. So let's get this in the oven. So we're gonna make my signature vegan ranch dip. We're gonna add in the coconut yogurt, some apple cider vinegar, dried dill, onion powder, sea salt, a pinch of paprika, and a little bit of pepper. And we're gonna stir this to combine. After 20 minutes, remove the sweet potatoes from the oven and flip the potatoes to roast the other side. Bake for an additional 15 minutes or until crispy and golden. Okay, let's give these a taste test. This combo is so good. I love these. It honestly tastes like the restaurant deep fried ones, 
crunchy on the outside, soft on the inside, and they're baked. So there we are, my three must-have sweet potato recipes. Each one is so versatile. We're looking at side dish, we're looking at salad, and we're looking at stuffed sweet potatoes. And honestly, they're all just so comforting and filling. I really, really think you're gonna love these recipes. And if you do, let me know which one is your favorite in the comments below. Make sure that you give this recipe a like and subscribe to my YouTube channel, and I hope to see you soon. Bye.